64 years and thousands of miles separate war-ravaged Europe in 1945 from this elementary school in southeast Washington, D.C., the setting for a week-long meeting of minds and creativity involving Holocaust survivors and teen ambassadors from Bringing the Lessons Home, a long-standing Holocaust education program from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Art and Memory, an adaptation by the Holocaust Museum of an educational project first done in the Israeli community of Nesiona, is concerned with head-to-head -head collaboration between these survivors and their younger colleagues. The task at hand? Capture in a piece of artwork the essence of the stories told by each survivor of what they experienced during the Holocaust. The artistic abilities of each participant vary greatly, but the artwork that results is only a secondary goal to be achieved. I don't really think it's about the art and how well it looks. Sure, it would look really well if it was an amazing work of art, but I really think it's more about the message that the painting is sending out to the people who are going to be seeing this. How else can we change the future if we don't learn from our past? In order to move forward, you need to know your past. So we want to learn from you all, and this is what we're going to um, partake in um, this week. The first day is spent with the Bringing the Lessons Home ambassadors breaking into individual groups with one survivor apiece, talking with them, listening, and learning. I have a question. Sure. What was your most vivid memory during this time of history? I remember going to school in Germany. I remember having to take the trolley, and my father was worried. He followed the trolley on, his bi on a bicycle every day. We must have been betrayed. Somebody must have said there's a Jewish family living up in the attic. And our fake identity papers, that my mom's and Selma's were okay, but there was something wrong with my dad's, so they didn't like my dad's and took him. And they put him in a prison. Work then begins in earnest, as the teams of ambassadors and survivors start the process of giving visual shape and substance to recollections of things past. My sister went by herself to Cologne on the train and saw the burning synagogue and the broken glass and the Gestapo told her to go back home. And this is a picture of my grandmother which these wonderful kids created, sheltering me, holding her hand in front of my eyes so I wouldn't see the burning synagogue. Well, I'm surprised at the level of the artwork from an artist standpoint that these students and our survivors were able to create the collaboration of, of different mediums and different tools and techniques is remarkable. I'm really in awe of, of what I'm seeing. The finished artwork will be on display at schools, churches, and synagogues around the Baltimore, Washington area. And the value of this program as a Holocaust education tool is more than apparent to survivor and ambassador alike. It's really like shine a new light on um, what the Holocaust had like a different perspective and it's just it's great working with her because I'm getting her like childhood memories and so it's just it's good to hear it firsthand. It gives me great pleasure that uh, a story and our memories are being commemorated you know uh, particularly uh, in my case it was my mother who was the one who, who saved my sister and me so this is something that I think it's for her so she's not forgotten.